Hello everybody, and welcome to this video. Today, we are going to look at the Francivillian biota, a particular piece of history from the Earth's magnificent history. Now you might have seen new videos about this the past month or so, as an article by the BBC and other newsletters quite literally blew up in scientific media. Personally for me, the first article, the link of which will be put in the description, I saw on the day it was posted or on the next one, so I have known of this for quite some time now. With that out of the way, let's begin. Now, what am I even talking about? Well, the Francivillian biota is found in a site in Gabon, dated to be as old as 2 or 2.1 billion years ago, making them the first more advanced multicellular life, if confirmed, that we know of. It contains some wacky organisms, such as Gabionta, which reached an astonishing diameter of 17 centimeters, which would not only be incredible for its time, but also for millennia to come, even as recently as the Cambrian period, which was just 540 to 485 million years ago, more than 1.6 billion years later. But now, you might ask, if such organisms existed at the time, why don't we find later fossils of them as well? So, let me give you some context, during those days long ago. As the plate tectonics and plates moved, as per usual, two of them started colliding, followed by an increase in volcanic activity. Because of that, a part of the world oceans at the time got cut off and became a shallow, inland sea. Because of that, and the fact photosynthesizing cells were present in the water, this shallow sea quickly became very oxygen-rich, allowing organisms to easily increase in body size and complexity. Because of that, during the next millions of years, life continued to become more and more complex. In fact, scientists have found in the exact same formation, meaning at the exact place and time, there have been found small tunnels within the rocks of sediments. Which, according to most scientists, can't have been created by simply natural processes, which means, that something was moving all those eons ago. But as we all know, this attempt at complex life failed to spread, and eventually died off. Of course, none of that is confirmed, as in, the fact that those macrofossils are even a product of biological organisms fossilizing, although, I personally choose to accept it. Now, this video simply serves as spreading news, and nothing more. And because of that, when I do a video answering the question of what would have happened if it managed to survive and preserve, I will put it in the top right corner of this exact video, right now. But, just imagine this, and try to ponder over this question, what if the creatures of the Francivillian biota managed to somehow spread to the rest of the oceans as well? Just imagine how strange and alien today's creatures would look, if they managed to survive. Just think about the fact, that if you, right now, got transported into an alternative universe, where these lifeforms survived and spread to the rest of the oceans. How would you possibly recognize that this is Earth, and not some alien planet beyond our reach? Of course, there would be resemblance to our creatures in theirs, because of the simple fact that convergent evolution is a thing. For now, thank you all for watching until the end, and if you liked this video and like the videos I generally produce, you could like and subscribe. See you in the next video.